Hey everyone, it's Marco here and back once again from my color screen bringing you another easy to follow complete guide to an amazing app this one titled Simple Calendar Widget. Now Simple Calendar Widget is perfect for all the beginners out there as well as all those minimal users as it's very easy to set up and can produce some amazing results. So let us begin with today's tutorial for Simple Calendar Widget. Boom! So whether you're looking for a simple agenda widget that just shows you all your important events that you'd like to show up or even tasks like we see over here, Simple Calendar Widget can do that. Other features it has is different types of skins like this holo one over here, ability to just show the agenda as well as even just showing a single event like this over here. So let us begin with today's tutorial. If you download Simple Calendar Widget from the Play Store, it'll show up in your app drawer like this, but going into it right here, you can't really change much besides maybe a few tutorials as well as links to my color screen as it is now owned by my color screen as well as changing some basic settings if we go into here as you can see you can change some stocks settings that so that when they're re-added they'll be set according to the ones that you set here but that's not too important i want to get to the nitty-gritty the part where you actually add in a widget so let us do that i'm just going to get rid of this one here just hold down drag it there so you're going to hold down on the home screen select widgets and you want to choose a simple calendar widget right there now it's got a quite a few options to choose from here having a 4x1 will just show you a single event like the one shown in the previous screen but having a one like a medium or a large this is also pretty good as it gives you ability to scroll so now if you hold down on it and select resize look at that it basically auto resizes to fit the size that you want it to Great, now this is basically your standard Simple Calendar widget. As you can see, it sets up your Google Calendar events for you already like this, but don't worry, you can still add in other calendars if you wish. So now we wanna edit all these options and change this around. So if we go to the right-hand side here and we select the side, there's an invisible bar here, but just selecting that will bring up our options. Simple as that. So this is the main menu for Simple Calendar widget. At the top here, we've got our eye icon and our little tick there. Now what the eye does is if you select it, it'll just show you quite an in-depth preview of what it will look like, which is really cool as you can change, everything you change, you can keep previewing it and it comes in really, really handy. So let's start off with the calendar option or the menu here. Bringing it up, we've got our calendar source. So as I said, I'm just using the Google Calendar. You can change that if you want. Visible calendars, this will just select, if you've got multiple calendars, say on your Google account, then you can just select whichever one you prefer. It comes in real handy. Calendar application. Now when you tap the simple calendar widget, it'll open up your calendar. This allows you to change what application you would want to open. That is our calendar menu right there. Next, we'll be going into our tasks. So selecting that. Now, you might be thinking, well, this is an agenda widget. Why do we need tasks? Well, if you download and install Astrid, which is a great, great task widget, there it is right there, and you select it, it now integrates with Astrid and Simple Calendar Widget and it works out really well. What you can even do here is if you select more and you select the color, you can change the color of your tasks just so that they stand out more and give it that, that woo effect. So we're gonna go okay, make it nice and yellow, go back. So that is our tasks done. You can change, it's got a few more options here, not too important. So we're just gonna go back again. Now for the really cool part, we're gonna go into our skin. Now, yours might look a bit different than this, and that's because I've downloaded downloaded skins for Simple Calendar Widget. Bet you didn't know that. If you see a little top little icon there, tapping that will bring you into your Play Store, allowing you to download free extra skins, such as the Holo one over here, the rounded one over here, and they just give you more variety for Simple Calendar Widget. Say, if you only want one event, or if you want a little cool icon, or even if you want your Simple Calendar Widget to have that Holo effect, this skin option here well this menu allows you to do all of that and like i said say selecting the holo one selecting the eye gives you a preview of what it'll look like boom just like that i'm going to leave it for semi clock right now i'm going to go back and now we're going to be moving on to the most important part is the appearance so selecting our appearance will bring up this menu right here first one we're going to be looking at is our skin tweaks so opening that out we've got our alternative layouts this will allow you to basically change the order that your layout is currently in. So if you want to have your all of them, your event, date, text, time, all underneath each other, you would select that one. And it comes with quite a few orders to choose from. Really, really cool. Line color. Remember a few of them, those widgets, they had the little line on the left-hand side. 
you can change that color or even make it transparent if you wish. Daytex width, it's just the width of that left hand side depending on the size of that font. Going back, we can see we've got background color now. Just remember it's for 2.2 plus devices. So anything below it will not work. But background color pretty much if you're going into that changes the color. As you can see, any color that you would want, you can change that too. Looks really cool if you make it transparent as well. Next, we're going to our font options. All of this, can you see that? Changes every single font color, font size, the way it's displayed. So if we go into our event text, you can use your calendar or tasks color. Works really cool if you've got quite a few calendars. And as well as, let's say if you make it your task, remember you made it yellow, selecting that will now be able to, you will now be able to see it in a yellow color. So you can change all of these if you want. So that is all your fonts. I'm not gonna change them right now. Next, we have highlight today's events. That's pretty cool if you wanna change what your today's events are gonna look like. If they want, if you want them to be bolder, change the size, the color, really, really cool. Almost finished here, we've got our items. Now these are just a few little extra options that you can select. You can say, say if you have an event showing tomorrow, you can enable that and it'll show tomorrow instead of say the next day, which is, this is a little cool thing to have. You can have your calendar color bullets. So depending on what calendar it is, it'll show that color. As well as shows days left. Quite a little few options here. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but they just add to the variety of your widgets. Finally, at the bottom, we've got today date box. Remember that little one on the left-hand side? You can either, you can even take that off if you deselect that one right there, as well as changing how the month is displayed. So that's another extra option right there. So as you can see, it's really, really easy to add. You can make it simple. You can go really in depth. And that's pretty much it. Very simple, very easy to use. I highly recommend this app. And the best thing about it, it's free. Thank you very much guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the My Color Screen channel as well as checking out our Google Plus, Facebook and Twitter communities. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen and don't stop customizing.